Hello team. Today we will see about uh, MPP interface and the hands-on and the how to create a MBOM, BOP and BOE, how to link each other and how to consume the data from EBOM to MBOM. We will see all this today's discussion. And whenever uh, we are logging into Team Center, we will get a window like this. And once we get like this, this is in my Team Center and uh, we need to open the MPP module and uh, next question is like uh, how to open the MPP module in team center like uh, there are two ways and uh, first one is like uh, you can go to window and here we can go to open prospective and if it is available here we can select from here but currently it is not available here so that we can go for others and here we can go and check here so you can select this and click open and this is one way and another way is like here left side it we will be having that module here like manufacturing process planner by double clicking this we can open the MPP module and if suppose if it is not available here like how it is structure manager and life cycle viewer and how it is visible here if it is not available then here is option and you can go to configure our applications and add applications you can go here and you can select the manufacturing process planner so that it comes here so that from here only you can directly direct uh, double click and you can open so now i will open from here i will just double click now my mpp window got opened so whenever we open the mpp window and first thing we will go for the selection of the group and uh, roles like for example if user is working on specific project and each project for each user will be having like belongs to each group so that it is very important to select that and if you are working on a mbom and you need to select the particular group and if you are working on the bop side and you need to select the particular group likewise we need to select our group and role here but currently we are for testing purpose we are using the dba group so here we are not going to select any particular group so when we here we can see like what is uh, this interface like uh, this uh, team center presents manufacturing data in views each of which provides its own specific way of managing or modifying data the views provide an environment where for example you can construct the processes and operations and relate additional relevant information and different uh, alternative or studies and collaborate with others who are working on the same information so this is about interface and when it comes to interface and we here we can see that like uh, these are all the like uh, this is the toolbar this is a menu bar likewise these are all the like in uh, menu bar in toolbar we can see like many options here from here for example one is which we we use most recently used structures this we use uh, regularly for example if we are working on any cco or study and instead of like every time you need to type here and instead of searching and if we go here and we will get the recently opened items here so that from here directly you can select and that item will directly open here so this one we use here and another option is uh, open by name like if you click here if we want to open the cc and we can go to here open cc and we need to enter the name and then we can open that or else if we are we have a study and we, you can click it here and you can follow the steps like oh yeah enter the study name and you can open so these are only some options and which we will uh, use like most recently and here this is a called like a collaboration context tree like uh, here i already opened this collaboration context tree if i click here you can observe that this will not get open here so once we click on open collaboration context tree and this window will appear here so what it shows here we will understand in uh, upcoming discussion like whenever we open any cc and that contains the remaining like bombs like mbom and bop and boe that comes here so that is why it is very important to open the collaboration context tree okay and here this is a home folder and where we can create our uh, own folder like uh, here i created with my name and basically you can create your folder and whenever if you are working on a particular project or data which you can copy and put it here like here i added some data here for my 
uh, testing purpose likewise you can create the folders and you can keep your data here and now we will see about like uh, how to uh, create the mbom and before that uh, we will understand like before creating the mbom we need to open the ebom and generally and we are not going to create the ebom manually we will be having the ebom and first we will see that how to open that ebom in mpp uh, there are two ways one thing is if you have that item id or item name here you can search by item id or item name and you can enter the name and if you click uh, search and we will get that one thing or else if we have that data saved in some particular folder for example here i have created one test ebom data and i have saved it here you can see here pen ebom so that we need to open this in the, into mpp window here we need to right click and go to send to and select the manufacturing process planner so i'm closing this home window here you can see that this pen e bomb is opened here and which is which i have created for testing purpose generally user is not going to create the e bomb manually so now we have opened the e bomb and now we will see about how to create the m bomb for example i am using the this uh, fan manufacturing process and for based on that we are just creating some items and we are creating the m bomb structure and first we will see about uh, how to create the m bomb skeleton here i am going to go to file new and item select an item and here we need to click on assign so that item id will get assigned and then we need to add the object, object name like here i am adding the pen m bomb I am clicking on finish and it will take some time to create usually it will not take much time sometimes it based on some environment it takes some time and let us wait for to create that you can see this then i this is a m bomb top node is uh, created here and by selecting this on top of this we will create another uh, skeleton here i am going to create another item called body parts same procedure for item id you need to click on assign then i am going to create another item called pen parts and i am going to going to create another item called standard part see here you can see this like this is my top node and we have created some structure like a body parts and pen parts and these are called assemblies like we will be manufacturing bill of material we will call these as a assemblies like now this is the body body parts and uh, let us we will before going to next step and we will just understand about mpp prospectives like here uh, we can arrange this bomb like you can hold on like left click on left mouse button and bring like this and it will come beside by beside and sometime if you want like this and you can do so how, however you want if you are working on some comparison or something and based on your convenience we can uh, adjust the prospectives and here there are options some options called like show in show graphics and if we have any cad data or something inside this and you can select this and you, if you click on this right show show in graphics and that particular data will get uh, showed in the graphics 